The tosylate is a common, really, really good leaving group. And what tosylate is, is when you see something with an OTS, that's the tosylate. And basically, this is a way to make OH a good leaving group. For example, let's say you have this alcohol and you want to substitute it with an SCH3. Well, if you add SCH3 minus as your reagent, no reaction is going to take place. And that's because the OH is such a bad leaving group. So what we can do instead is convert this OH into a tosylate, in which case then it will be a good leaving group. So what I'm going to do is take the same alcohol, and what we need to convert it to a tosylate is we add tosyl chloride and pyridine. So pyridine is this structure right here. And pyridine's a base, because the lone pair on the nitrogen makes it basic. Um, to show you what the tosyl chloride looks like, it's kind of a large structure. It looks like that. So it's this portion here that is your tosylate group. So by adding the tosyl chloride and pyridine to an alcohol, we form the tosylate. And the oxygen that was in the alcohol is the same oxygen which you have here on the tosylate. You're really just replacing the hydrogen with the TS group. And now we have a great leaving group. So now once you take this, if you add SCH3 minus, this is going to do a rapid SN2 reaction. It will add to the carbon, and you'll lose the leaving group. So there is your product. You get OTS minus as the leaving group byproduct and this reaction works well. To show you why the tosylate's a good leaving group, if I actually draw out this structure, where you have the tosylate, it's the O, S double bond O, double bond O, and this aromatic group attached. Well, when that leaves, so the nucleophile comes in, you lose that group, look at what you get. Of course you get your substitution product, but we're focused right now on the leaving group. There's our leaving group minus. And what we have even though usually a negative charge on an oxygen isn't super stable, this one you can move into the other oxygens through resonance. You can delocalize it into the top oxygen. You can delocalize it into the bottom oxygen. There's a lot of resonance there. That makes this very stable. So we'll say it's a stable leaving group. So this part, you don't have to know this, um, but I do want to show you how this tosylate replaces the hydrogen, just in case you're interested. So what happens is the alcohol reacts with the tosyl chloride, and the oxygen will attack the sulfur and push a lone pair up onto one of the oxygens. From here, now what happens is this negative charge on the oxygen will come back down to form the double bond O, and you'll lose the Cl from the sulfur. 
we get this intermediate where the oxygen and the R group's now added, but it still has its proton from the oxygen. This is where the pyridine comes in. The pyridine acts as a base. And that pyridine will come and take this proton from the oxygen. So then you end up with your tosylated oxygen plus you get the protonated pyridine and that hangs out with the chloride ion to give you this salt. So this big structure that I have drawn here is really just the R-O-T-S.